do 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 choo choo. Hello to all the hair besties in the land. We have Tara. Hi. Take a look. Take a close look. <laughs> She's from Australia. <laughs> She's very gorgific, as you can see, but she does have a little bit of a paranormal heritivity situation. She is a little bit brassy down and through here, so I'm gonna have to do some overlappage with the lightener. You can see she has a beautiful natural color, but again, brassy here and a little bit blonder throughout the top. So I have to strategically go in and dissect and leave some blondes out and overlap some areas. Are you a little bit nervous? If you're doing it, I'm not nervous. Usually I would be nervous. I've had some hor uh, hair horror stories. Tell us, tell us your horror stories. I love um, stories. I had hair that was supposed to be brown that went red. It was like a orangey, ready. What's wrong with orange people? No, it wasn't no, It wasn't a cute red though. Well, you know, I'm gonna make you orange and red today. No. Your favorite color. <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna turn you blonde. Are you ready to get started? Yes, I am. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we are gonna use a hybrid mixture using my Dynity Magnum 8, which lives up to eight levels, is a powder form. And then we're gonna mix it with Big Nine, and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I'm gonna do about two scoops, which is gonna give me 50 grams. And then we're gonna go in doing 50 grams of Big Nine. And what I like about creating a hybrid consistency is that you get the smoothness of a cream and then you get a little bit of that control that you feel that you have with a powder if you will. So we're going to use 30 volume okay and I'm going to mix it one to two okay so we're going to have 200 grams here and we're going to whip it up with a whisk and this should finish almost half her head and we'll come back and mix some more. And we're gonna introduce Nora! Can you whisk this up for us? Let's Absolutely. show them. Show them what it looks like. I really enjoy learning new things and hybrids are the best. Yes, you like mixing everything together, don't you? I really do, <laughs> it's like you get the best of both worlds. Take a look at that, guys. Look at that consistency. And normally I mix big nine one to one, um, but I also mix it one to two so it has a looser consistency. And the reason why I'm gonna do it a little bit more of a looser consistency is because I want it to be able to spread inside the foil. Because when you look at Tara's hair here, she has about a level six and it starts to fade into a seven. And then of course, um, we have some level nines down here. Most likely we are gonna overlap a little bit. We wanna lift this up to a 10. And even though we overlap, this is the cold shaft area. This is away from her scalp, so it's not gonna get that much heat. And I'm gonna do more feathering work down here than I am up here. I'm gonna do full penetration up in the mid shaft and we are gonna backcomb her whole head. Okay, so we are gonna use Olaplex as well. And you don't wanna use too much. I think that a lot of hair besties tend to overmix Olaplex and I find that less is more. So that's all I use, okay guys? And I'm gonna pour her in, just like that. That's it, that's all you need. Also, I think it's really important to remind everybody that when we're done with our lightener, the cream and the uh, developers to tighten the capsule very good and make sure you completely seal it. Otherwise it oxidizes and it weakens. Well, that's why a lot of people always ask me, why is the bottle so cute and tiny? I said, well, because we want longevity and the, the developer, right? Because if it's so big and you only use it once a while, like let's say 40 volume, you often don't gravitate to 40 volume all the time, let's say. So it stays fresh. And it stays fresh because if you, you just like open it once it gets oxidized and then it weakens you know so let's get started so the first section I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a curved horizontal section here as you can see she's dark and she's gonna transition into this right to the lighter pieces as I lift her up she has a bunch of short pieces that kind of comes out you don't want to highlight that you don't want to draw any attention to that so leave that alone so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna push once Okay, and I'm gonna push one more time, so twice. And then you'll see me do a little bit of overlapping through here, and I'm gonna feather it down. Okay, I'm gonna place the foil down, and then you'll see me paint over, and then go into like a V or a W pattern. And then my goal is to get closer to the scalp as I move my way up, right? So you'll see me do subtle overlapping as I paint the lightener through. Look at that consistency. It gives you that hybrid consistency that you look for both in cream and powder. And usually we don't see anyone talk about that, but I feel that it is important that they can live together and harmonize really well. And you get that consistency that you want. Because sometimes 
you want an eight and a half level lip or sometimes you want an extra creamy. Sometimes you want a powder form, but sometimes you kind of want both. I think this gives you that ability to be a little bit more versatile with your, um, your tools. You can have your cake and eat it too. Like, yeah. Why not have the best of both worlds? Exactly. And we're going to lay this down. And you guys will notice I always lay foils flat. And in this case, it's very important because down here is blonder, up here is darker. Up here is closer to her scalp, which needs more heat from her scalp to accelerate the lift. You need to accelerate the lift up here where you have the natural virgin hair. But here, because it's the cold shaft, even if I overlap it, it's gonna be safe because it's away from the heat from her scalp. So even with 30 volume going through, not only do I have Olaplex in the formula, but because it is the cold shaft, it's not gonna be as scary um, and it's not gonna lift to the point where the hair will break off. I think it's really important to lay the panels flat also. Sometimes when you just kind of twirl the piece in there, you're not gonna get even penetration, right? You wanna make sure you penetrate evenly through the hair by laying it flat. So that way the lift is more even. And you'll see me feather through on the outside because it's laying on the outside even though I overlap it, it's safe. Inside the foil, you get that heat conduction, but when it's exposed to open air, it's not as aggressive. So when I do a back comb that I want to get really close up to the scalp, what I find is that I have to take a thinner panel. That way I can push it all the way up to the scalp. What happens is when I take larger panels that are thicker, I'm unable to get as close. So this one, I took a thinner panel. But I also want to show you guys why I'm back combing her whole panel versus doing like little highlights. The reason why is if I do these little highlights, you're still going to leave behind a bunch of orangey yellow pieces that she doesn't like. I want to completely erase every single brassy piece that she has underneath. So I have to overlap them completely. So everything will be completely icy. And I think what happens is when we overlap over time, I mean, um, do these little stitch highlights over time, what happens is you just make more of a mess. So in this case, what I like to do is I like to over direct depending on how her layers are. If you look closely, her layers are shorter on this side. So I'm going to over direct her this way and then back comb it up into her scalp edge. The way I know how to back comb the hair is I look at how the hair is layered. This side is shorter than this side. I always go with how the hair is cut when I do my back combing technique. So I apply a lot of pressure and hold it with tension when I comb it through and then I position my fingers over to where the layers are. So I'm gonna reposition my body over this way and I'm gonna back comb by over directing the hair first. This is how you get all the way up to that scalp. Right here, I always put my whole arm underneath the foil as a platform. I feel like this is very important. Use your arm as a platform. Your arms can be a tool itself, right? Extend your arms out like that. It's a good workout. It is. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have Nora take over. Nora, Hi. this is so exciting. It's okay, exciting. Here's your, your comb. Okay, I'm going to be your assistant. This is so much fun. Oh my gosh. Um, Nora, tell me when you decide to use the cream versus the powder. Well, I think cream is really good for um, global lightening. And if you're, you know, doing touch up on the roots and, you know, it's very gentle. I like it also for, for back combing if I'm doing finer hair. Overall, I really like for the back combing techniques to use powder lightener because of the, right. the spreadability and it, the saturation. Get it, Nora. Look at that. I'm Look. using my arm. She my arms it. are short, though. These are my arms. You, <laughs> have, good, you have good long arms. I, I got the perfect length. I got, I got a big nine. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a short seven. <laughs> well, may, maybe we'll launch a short seven one day. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants that. All right, so Nora and I is gonna finish the whole head and we're gonna be right back. Oh my gosh, guys, we are back with Tara. Hi. <laughs> toner free, there's no toner in it. I want you guys to see what it looks like using big nine Magnum 8 hybrid to get this perfect blonde lift. Tara, I wanna know how you feel. I'm not embarrassed about having disgusting orange hair anymore. <laughs> so it feels really good. <laughs> disgusting orange hair? It was really bad. Were you that embarrassed? Yes, by it? I would wear it in like a top knot every single day. Well, you're brass free. <laughs> but you guys know what? It doesn't stop there. I want to put the express toner and blush and the misty mauve. You must be nervous because you're not used to these type of colors. 
a little bit, but I'm actually really excited to see how it turns out. I think we better get started now. As you can see, Tara's hair is damp, which is very important um, because if you put on dry hair, it can go really, really dark. So it's designed to work on damp hair so you can do it at the shampoo bowl quickly and move efficiently with, while getting the performance from it. Squeeze the tube in, and this is the Misty Mauve. Our first formulation. Like I can't wait to like offer it to my clients like, hey, you want to try something fun and it doesn't take much time extra on their appointment. Don't you feel like you love to tone at the shampoo bowl? I do. Especially when you're doing a lot of clients yeah. back to back, right? It's a, it's a salon reality. We don't all have the time to go in, blow dry their hair 100% and then go in a second time, so. Wait, so you're saying a lot of people don't spend eight hours with their clients like no, me? No, <laughs> not a lot of us really do that. Another great option of having an express toner that tones in five minutes is that you get to layer the color. Like for example, I could put blush, so I could double the pigment in the toner, and I go back over it with 9RG, 7RG, and do more creative color placement. So that way there's double the dye load, so there's more longevity. I think that's really cool, don't you think? I do. I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna, I can't have, even. I'm gonna have you whisk her up. You're getting whiskey over <laughs> I there. I just love the smell. Look, smell that. It's like mm. lavender. So I'm over here mixing the blush. Now when I squeeze it out into the bowl here, you get to see Ooh, you like that? I know you like that sound. I even I think it. that's a pretty color, just like yeah, that. So I do too. It almost has like a, um, it looks like the color of my nipple, slightly. <laughs> I was gonna say peachy, but. <laughs> well, maybe I have peachy nipples, okay? <laughs> if you leave it on longer than five minutes, what happens? It goes deeper. The longer you leave it on, the deeper it goes, which I like because that's I, a good option. That is a good option. Um, I also feel that it gives you the color deposition of a level eight. But if you leave it on long enough, like maybe 20, 30 minutes, it could go down to close to a seven or some sort like that. So you can add clear to it to shear it out to a level nine or 10 color deposition. But I feel like I love to leave it on for five minutes. What I do is I leave it on and then I leave the ends out because the ends tends to be more porous and then I'll add clear and drag it through. Okay, so I'm gonna mix one to two ratio. Okay, she has a lot of hair, so this is gonna be great. Thank you, babe. Squeeze that Olaplex in there. I want you guys to take a close look at this. I feel like when you don't mix it thoroughly and it looks like uh, gravy or oatmeal, it's not thoroughly blended. Do not apply this on the head. I feel like a lot of times as colorists, sometimes we get in a rush and we don't thoroughly mix and blend the color. And that's the key point to get uh, the color to deposit evenly. Otherwise you get splotchiness. Yeah, that makes sense. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know how anal I am. I love to use the word anal because I really am <laughs> anal. But I don't, don't like, I get on everyone's case if they don't mix it thoroughly. If, I, if it looks like oatmeal, mm -mm, I'm gonna throw a fit. This is the one here that's mixed thoroughly. This is the Misty Mauve. So I keep on whisking away until it's thoroughly mixed. That's why I always use a whisk versus a brush. And you'll see me mix it just like that. It is a very sexual color, isn't it? Ooh, <laughs> it is a sexual color. We're, we're getting along very well. <laughs> I can step off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not straight. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt. As always, you guys, put the hand condoms on. I know that we like to get rushy and just slap it all over the bowl, but I don't want to ruin your nails, you know? So we're gonna start off with the Misty Mauve because that's a cooler tone. Mauve has a little bit of violet in there, so that creates a cooler cast, and that's what I'm gonna put up here. All right, I'm gonna put it throughout up at the routage. And it's okay if it's not like a perfect one inch you know, off the scalp. I like to just kind of make it a little bit more, I don't want to say messier in application, but as long as it looks more, uh, less um, like clean, you'll get less of a harsh line. So what I do is I want to kind of drag down uh, in some areas so it looks more blended. Just like that. And actually, because the hair is wet, we can actually move a lot quicker. Just like so. It smells delicious. Oh? Doesn't oh, it? I hate my hair right now. Eat your hair, girl. <laughs> Eat your hair. All right, so I just got done applying the Misty Mauve Express Toner, and I have it on her routage. I drag it out to where I start seeing the blonde. And this is really important because it blends away the stitch marks. 
But I want you guys to understand that Misty Mop is very unique in tone. So if you put on hair that's a level 10 platinum, it's gonna, you're gonna see more of that mob tone. But if you put on a level nine where there's yellow, you're gonna see more of that ashy, I can't describe it, but it's very ashy, a little bit of a latte beigey feel to it because that, that mauve tone goes in and neutralize that yellow and you get that soft smoky beige, right? So keep that in mind on the level you're putting on. Is it a level nine or is it a level 10? Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the blush express toner, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of smooth it in and into the previous toner because that's what's gonna create that seamless blend. And the ends again are very, very light. You're getting a level 10 ends here. I'm gonna leave that out. I don't want that to turn too pinky. I do want it to create movement still and not just a big old block of pink. All right, so we're back and you can see the color developing. So excited. <laughs> Nora, I know this excites I'm dying. you. A little hair gasmic. <laughs> All right, so I still have a little bit of blush toner in my bowl, okay? So I have the clear here, as you can see, this is the crystal clear demi. I'm gonna add the whole tube of this in there, okay? This is what I like to do personally because I feel like I can make the color go further without having to remix. And you're right. just shearing out her ends. I'm shearing out her ends because if you look at her ends, especially around her face here, you can see how light these ends are, right? So what could happen if you put the straight blush through it, those ends will look darker, it will over absorb, and you know, the porous ends, it's just reality. We can create beautiful colors, but we can't change science as far as porosity, the color wheel, these foundations and uh, the, the bases will always be there. So it's good for your knowledge, okay? So now I'm gonna add six volume, one to two ratio in to the clear, and I'm gonna stir up, all right. I'm gonna mix this, as I mix, you squirt it in there. Oh, there, okay, that works. I'm gonna whisk that up, just like so. I went higher around her face frame because I want these areas to be a lot lighter. I'm gonna get the color that I put at the routage and just blur it in so that way it blends seamlessly. All right, just like so. I'm still gonna hold on to this and bring the sections up and blend it in. That way we can move quickly. Do you guys see what I'm doing? I'm just dragging everything forward, holding it all in my, my hands. I feel like I can move quicker this way. And all the ends is gonna get the clear and blush treatment, just like that. And even though it looks like it's processing really dark, anytime you have pigment weight, it will always appear a little deeper. So just let it dry and not be scared, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And let it process for only five minutes. Baby, you're all that I want. When you're lying here in my arms, I find it hard to believe. <laughs> We're in heaven. I love it. Yes. That's for you, Tara. <laughs> Thank you. Because your hair is heavenly. Heaven. Am I right, Ariana? Yes, you're right. <laughs> you're right. With your husky. husky With my voice. husky 80s singing <laughs> voice. <laughs> you know what I love about the Express toners is that it looks so natural. You get this natural blush tone that yes. is wearable with that background color of the beige yes, into the with, blush. Exactly. It's wearable and then you can, you can build on top of it like you said earlier. Exactly, yeah. like layering by mm -hmm. pre-toning the hair with the Express yes. Toner, five minutes or leave it on longer, like 10 minutes to get more pigmentation. Exactly. And then go over it and do different layers of color, like you could do 7RG, 9RG, 9RG with clear. The or, possibilities are like endless. Right? Yes. And you could actually mix the Color Max Dual Booster in to the Express Toners, which amplifies everything. That's amazing, I'm, right? so <laughs> I'm so excited. If you look at Tara's hair, it's so soft, so delicate. The shadow routage that just blends through with that blush color and the ends. I wanna show you guys something. I made this little weave over here, okay? <laughs> okay, this is the Misty Mauve and this is the blush. Now this is done on a level 10 extension piece, okay? With Tara's hair, she was a level nine in between. So putting that mauve and the blush on her hair, it took on a different color. It looks more natural and wearable. Where her ends were more like a 10, I added clear to it because I didn't want the ends to turn this pink. Mm -hmm. So keep in mind, if she was platinum, right Ariana? Yeah. 
she would turn she this would. color. Oh, but what I love is the iridescence, yes. the wearability of it. Because I feel like just because you see pink, it doesn't have to be so no, like... In your face. In your face. Yeah. Like, hi everyone, I'm pink, you know? Sometimes They're, it's fun to be in your face. <laughs> yeah, well see, because you are deliberate. <laughs> yeah, I am deliberate. <laughs> yeah, because we got the direct dyes pink, you know, yeah. we got the pink um, diamond and the pink glow dual booster for that, if you needed that. But we yes. want something that is wearable and you know, to have the versatility. Tara, we want to know what you think about yeah, it. I love it. I am obsessed. I'm going to have this color till I'm dead. Or, <laughs> or bald. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I'm kind of curious about all the hair Bessie's think, because yes. no matter where she turns, her color just glistens. And it, and I feel like it doesn't translate on camera the way I see it with my naked <laughs> eyes. Because camera can't capture yeah. everything, you know what I'm saying? But it is so pretty. It, we we try the best we can. This is so pretty. I know you guys gonna love it. I love it. You love it. You love, love it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Click thumbs up and subscribe. Leave comments below. Let me know what you think. I love you guys so much. Hair besties for life. You guys mean the world to me. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> subscribe. Do, 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 do. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, <laughs> other links are below. Bye. <laughs>